Hey guys and welcome to our next tutorial. Today I will show you the geometry importer that you can use to load meshes that are created in another software. Basically you will just need the mesh loader node which works just like any other node in the hierarchy editor. But you will notice that you can only load a vendor specific file type into it. So to use a mesh of another file type you will first have to save it as a VZM file by using the geometry importer. The importer can be found under the file menu, then import and geometry. So here you can load a variety of file types of meshes, which are for example collada files or DirectX files. So when we now open the example mesh that I prepared, the geometry importer opens. So always keep in mind that the different file types provide different features like materials, animations, textures, and so on. The importer provides some import options that depend on the file type that you want to import, since, for example, Collada files have more features than DirectX files. To the left, you have a simple preview of your geometry. You can navigate in it. And to the right there are the options which you can also save and reuse for later import. In the options you may, for example, adjust the resulting object hierarchy. So here you can choose by which property of the meshes Ventus shall divide the resulting hierarchy tree. So you will most likely want to use the subsets based on original hierarchy option since that uses the way that it was designed in the other software before. But you may also use subsets based on materials or just a single subset. The faces options define the side of the polygons that should be rendered since in real-time rendering only one side of the faces are rendered to save performance. So the last options are pretty self-explanatory. You can transform the resulting mesh by a scaling factor or align the geometry in another way. You can adjust the way textures shall be imported and the camera and the animations. So when you're done, just click import and save the VZM file in a directory like the geometry directory of your project. Ventus now automatically creates a hierarchy container in the currently open scene. Once you have converted the geometry into a VZM file, you can simply load it into the scene via a mesh loader again. When you import a mesh that uses an animation in it, it will be stored in the subset of the mesh as single meshes. This is why externally animated meshes are always bigger and may decrease performance severely compared to meshes that are animated in Ventus. So always consider whether an animation must really be animated in an external software or if an animation via Ventus is sufficient. This closes this tutorial. I hope I will see you next time when we will talk about the project maintenance.